Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, da Vinci's Resolve 20 was released, and I want to run you through the setup. Pretty easy. So we're going to go to Google. We're going to type Da Vinci's Resolve Studio 20. We're going to click the link. We're going to go to free download. We're going to click Linux, and there's a download now button at the bottom. Feel free to click it, okay? That's where we need to be. Once it's downloaded, you're going to have a zip file. I don't anymore. And inside, you're going to see this guy right here. Okay. And if you're on Cache OS, you're going to want to do this. Okay. Pseudo Pacman dash S fuse two. Okay. And if you're on Fedora 41 or 42, uh, instead, what you're going to want to do is this, okay? Over there, this is the command right here. This is going to install things that you need. Now, we're going to need to have to edit that because maybe there'll be a conflict, most likely with um, this one, I think. This will allow you to have everything you need. Now, when it comes to Pico OS 4, you're going to need this command, libfuse2, okay? Hopefully, uh, that is made very, very clear. Now, if you're on Fedora or Pico OS 4, the installer will not run without having to CD into this location first. Very important to CD into there or open the terminal like this by right-clicking open a terminal here, okay? Next, you need to do this right here, but with the newest version. So you'll always have to adapt to the number version and that will allow you to open that up on Fedora Pico OS. Now, I think I still have to do the same thing in, in, in my, when I'm on Hyperland, but I probably can just hit execute and it works. Okay, it does. So I fixed that problem. So if I hit next, I'm going to reinstall DaVinci Studio because again, we're doing this from scratch. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to agree and start installation and then enter my password. So this is installing DaVinci's Resolve Studio. Now this is the same thing with the free version. The installation is all the same. The setup is all the same. And uh, we got some post op instructions to follow as well so once again we're going to enter our password and once that is done i'm going to hit finish we're going to open the terminal again and you're going to hit you're going to enter this now if you're wondering where this is first and foremost this is in my discord as you can see it's all laid out perfectly for you there's no way to mess it up at all these instructions might be kind of out of date uh I will, I already have a video that updated how to get AMD stuff working for the AMD GPU stuff. This is no longer needed. Eh, I have a video already handling all that, but now we need to do this. Enter your password, all of those things have been removed. And that's it, DaVinci's Resolve now works on Cache OS, Pico OS, or Fedora, or Nabora. Now we get to open it up, which is gonna be fun. I don't know if this button's going to work. No, it normally doesn't. Now, I have it set up to use my NVIDIA GPU because I have two GPUs. So as you can see, there's the 9070 XT and there's the 4070. The 9070 XT took me so long to save up for. But it's simple. All I did was port it, uh, point it in the executable section, the slash opt resolve bin uh, resolve. That's it. And I now left all of this info completely blank. Then I went to this section and I pointed it towards the GPU that I want. And now when I hit play, uh, it's going to start up. And there you go. You can jump in, you can edit, you can do whatever you need to, and it will work perfectly fine. And if I go into extra download manager, what is that? I'm going to go take a look at that. As you can see, I selected CUDA. There's also OpenCL and everything is working. Again, if you have an AMD GPU and you want to use DaVinci's Resolve Studio to render out on your GPU, 
check out my video about that. That is already up and ready to go. I hope this helped you. If it did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody. Also, if you want to support me, you can do so by checking in the description below. Uh, we have membership on YouTube. You can click that button, become a member. It really helps out. And we also have uh, Ko-Fi. If you want to do a one-time donation, feel free. I appreciate everything, every single one to subscribes, which helps the most. And I'll see you guys next time.